so in the past I have gotten a lot of requests to make a how to draw dragons video um or I guess multiple kinds like you want to know different wings of fire tribes but I'm just going to be starting off with a basic dragon and maybe I'll get into the specifics of other tribes later in their own separate videos or just a video kind of going over all the different traits. I'm going to attempt to share how I draw dragons with you guys. So first I tend to start, oh gosh, edit that out. <laughs> so first I tend to start with a circle for the head. Zoom in here. And then to do a snow, you kind of do this a little, whatever that shape is, this triangle shape. That's kind of going to be the eyebrow of the dragon. And then the snow. Now that, for me, is a simple snow. Kind of a rectangular trapezoid shape. Though if you want to go more detailed, a dragon's snout shouldn't have that point at the end. And usually would be like that too. Uh, there's the mouth, nostril. And then I draw the horns, which can really be just about whatever you want them to be. I, I've also gotten requests for a horn tutorial. So I don't know if that will be a thing. Ears, eyes, you have a dragon head, but you don't necessarily want to just draw the head first. I'm assuming you're here to learn about how to draw a full body dragon. So instead of doing that, we're now going to draw the full body dragon. So you're going to want to draw another circle and then you're going to want to draw a line. I tend to make my line kind of like a hook at the top. Though honestly, you can have your line be straight if you want to. This is kind of like the outline for your neck. The closer the circles are, the shorter the neck will be. I mean, unless you make a really weird shaped neck. And then you're going to want to draw another circle. I know. Surprise. A line across, can go across to connect it. That is the butt. Very important on a full body dragon. And now you have this kind of worm looking thing. <laughs> now legs, Some I used to draw just circles kind of like that. To uh, draw out the legs where you want them to be. But nowadays, oh gosh. Nowadays, I draw lines to show what I want the dragon to be doing. So, this one, we're just going to have standing. And maybe, yeah, this is leg, one leg up like that. The front legs are pretty simple. Um, they're pretty straight. You kind of want this like curve up here, and then you have this little section. And the dragon's foot will come out like that. Some people might draw it the other way. I know so I've seen people do this with their legs, so they draw the legs like that. Which, I can see where you're coming from with that, but it just won't look right. Especially if the dragon is trying to grab something. It, it, they just don't bend that way. So you're always going to want to kind of have a backwards L shape rather than a 
normal L shape, if that makes sense. Oop, don't want to eat my That's a good little tip for drawing the front legs. If you want to bend in them at least. The back legs are a bit different. You're going to want one to go out. And then it's going to come back like a normal L shape. And then you're going to have another L shape, but it's backwards and a foot. So it's important because the legs come out, then they go back in, and then they kind of go down. See, very different from... There we go. The farther back the leg goes, so if you're going to have a leg going behind, this is the front leg right there. That's the back leg, and it's kind of stretching out that way. The further that way the leg stretches, the straighter you're going to want to make it. See, you're not going to have that big giant bump and then have it go backwards because that just kind of looks strange. It looks like this dragon can't really bend its legs at all, move its legs. It's not really looking alive, you know? And then the tail. The tail, you can pretty much do whatever you want with. I like to make mine kind of hang low to the ground. Sometimes I like to make my tails literally just flop onto the ground from the butt. Sometimes you want to raise the tail in the air. You know, it, it's pretty fun. The tail is a fun way to express your um, express your character's expression, I guess. Um, someone with a droopy tail might be t either tired or sad. Someone with a raised tail could be on edge, uh, happy. It could come down to a bunch of different things. So before I get into the wings, I'm just going to finish up the body so you can kind of get a feel for the body before the wings. Because I feel like the wings are their own separate thing you're going to want to tackle. I'm going to turn the opacity down on my skeleton here. And you're going to want to go over the skeleton and kind of flesh it out. Uh, give it some muscles and some fat and details. The face, I pretty much keep it the same. I mean, you change it based on what character you're drawing and what facial features you want the dragon to have. I'm going to give it some basic horns and an ear. The ear can be easily forgotten by some people. And then the neck, you're just kind of want to gonna, oof, make sure the head connects to the next. You don't want to draw the neck all the way up there because then it looks like the dragon's doing something weird there. No, you want, you want the neck to come out so it makes sense. And the, the neck looks like it's connected to the head. There you go. On to the leg. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. I'll go into detail on feet in another video. I feel like that one kind of deserves its own episode. 
rather than me trying to explain it in here. I'm not the best at drawing feet myself. Shoop. Another thing about legs, you don't want to make them too short for the dragon, um, unless it's like an intentional chibi style type drawing, maybe. The dragon's legs should be pretty long. Again, just like with the head, you're going to want to make sure this connects really good. Sometimes it's good to just draw a line there and erase it from the leg. But once you get better at eyeing it up, you can kind of just draw it based on what you see. The dragons kind of have a rib cage right here, so it's going to go down further than the stomach. So that's like the rib cage, that's like the stomach. The stomach is higher than the rib cage. So you kind of have this, this line here. Sometimes it's more drastic than others. It's not super important, but that's something to keep in mind. And if you have a chubbier dragon, you kind of just got a bunch of fat there, though. So, again, depends on what kind of dragon you're drawing. Back legs, their feet are also a bit different, so another thing I feel like I have to explain in a different video. Okay, here's something. This back leg here is literally going to be the butt. That is the butt. You don't want anything further back from that back leg, usually. Um, except, obviously, the tail. Uh, so, from here on out, it's just tail. You don't have, like, a butt and then tail. Think of the dragon's body without the legs as, like, a snake. A dragon's body should be a snake, but the dragon has legs. The snake has legs and wings, and that makes it a dragon. I think the butt's usually... Yeah. Okay, usually I'll do the back before the butt, so this is kind of weird. I like to make my back kind of arched. If I'm getting more stylized, I kind of make it pointier. But um, we're not doing that in this video. We're just going to be doing this. So you might want to add shoulder blades right here. And the back's kind of, the butt kind of is higher up than the front. Um, mainly because these back legs are bigger. And then the tail, again, you can do whatever you want with that. But here's the thing, like I said, it's a snake, so that you're going to want to connect right to the tail. You're, you're uh, going to want it to connect really good, so it looks nice and makes sense. The tail's thickness kind of depends on you, thickness and length. But generally, you're going to want to... Have it really thick here and have it get thinner as you go. Sometimes you can keep it pretty thick more of the way through. And sometimes you can make it skinnier. Really quick on. This back leg's kind of coming up weird so the foot's a bit strange as you'll see 
like I said, I need to go over feet. This is a foot. Like, that's the whole foot. Uh, which means I should really make this foot longer. That's going to probably bug me. But, I mean, this is just a simple drawing for you guys, so it shouldn't matter that much. Oh, gosh. And this foot's lower. That's wrong. Oops. There we go. Kind of better. Not really, but it'll work for now. So there you have what the dragon looks like without the wings, basically. Um... Yeah. You'll also have details on the dragon, such as spikes. They go all the way across the back. Usually these ones are covered by the wings, but they are there. Also, dragons tend to have an underbelly, which is a softer spot for them. Or armored, depending on what kind of dragon we're talking about here. <laughs> And there you have a basic dragon body. Oh, there's the skeleton, there's the dragon body. Now, I feel like I'm going to leave wings to their own separate video, should I? Uh, 